Nandito po ako ngayon sa Coachella Valley sa Southern California, Thermal City and uh, ako sa Poyo yung aking uh, kamakana uh, kababayan uh, who is an American citizen actually uh, originally from Iloilo and then Taporong Sultan Kodara no? Rocky French and uh, siya rin po yung nag-introduce ng solar elevation sa Pilipinas o sa akin at least now Ngayong araw na ito, meron siyang ipinapakita sa akin which I believe could radically revolutionize organic agriculture in the Philippines. Hawa ko po. Alam niyo yan, golden kohol. Noong araw, tinatabi ito. Tinatago ito sapagkat sinasabi nilang yayaman ka daw kapag meron kang golden kohol. Hindi binibigay sa kapitbahay. Nung bandang huli, nakita na peste sa palayan. Pero itong peste sa palayan na ito, according to Rocky French, is the key to the revolutionization of organic agriculture in the Philippines. Can you explain? Well, uh, snails uh, produces a lot of ammonia. So they eat 24 hours a day non-stop. They produce quite a bit of ammonia, and this ammonia we can degrade this into nitrite by using two or two types of nitrifying bacteria, and then further degrade it into nitrates, which is one of the most expensive uh, fertilizer for vegetative growth of any uh, plant. Plants. But what's the secret? Ano ang ano ang ipapakain mo sa kohol para magpulo siya ng uh, nitrites? Anything that uh, they eat will ultimately become nitrates. But the process will take you about 8 weeks naturally. So the process is uh, they eat, they poop, produce ammonia which is toxic to plants and other organisms and then you have to degrade that into nitrites which is also toxic but after you degrade it into nitrates then it becomes uh, useful to all uh, plants so nitrates is basically a form of uh, nitrogen so if you buy fertilizer and you introduce uh, urea or nitrogen fertilizer into your plants, the microorganism will degrade that into nitrates. So basically what we did was we enhanced the production of nitrates by using and uh, colonizing a media with uh, an abundant amount of uh, nitrosomes and nitrobacteria. So we shortcut the process and in return, if you can see that uh, system there, a very, very simple system. It takes about uh, three to four days or even uh, five days to convert 250 gallons of uh, snail water into nitrates. So ito, bakit malunggay pinapakain niya? We feed them with malunggay because uh, literally, malunggay has about 18 amino acids. Uh, snails uh, needs a lot of energy. So of all the plants that we use from using sna saba, snake grass, uh, ong choy, or Euphomia aquatica, which is kangkong, uh, they're more inferior to malunggay. Malunggay seems to be their favorite uh, food. And if they consume this, they grow fast and they reproduce uh, non-stop. So literally what you see so on the side. Itong ganito kalaking uh, pa... Uh, how do you call this? Container. Container. How many uh, gallons of uh, uh, nitrates would you produce? You can produce uh, 250 gallons of uh, nitrates every five days. Every five days. Ano ang, kung i-dilute mo yun, 
gaano kalawak na pala yan ang pwedeng fertilize? Uh, well, uh, at the early stage, a lot of the young plants only needs about uh, 200 ppm to 300 ppm of nitrates. Uh, the, our uh, end product of nitrates here is about 1,200 ppm, so you have to dilute it five times. So, kung 250 gallons, uh, times five. Times five. So, that's... Uh, 1,250 gallons. Correct. So literally, if you have eight tanks, you're literally producing uh, 2,000 uh, gallons of green Okay, tell me, how would this boost organic farming in the Philippines? Well, the, the, the most expensive uh, nutrients that uh, you buy in organic farming are organic nutrients that it's very hard to produce, literally always coming from Burmese tea. You know, in composting and everything, and it takes a lot of money to get those nutrients. Right now, they're selling uh, a gallon of uh, Burmese tea for $12 a gallon. <laughs> Whereas with this, it's more potent and you could probably buy this for, I don't know, you know, how much. Mga kaibigan, isa na namang uh, innovation ni Rocket French. A uh, brilliant farmer, breeder of tilapia, dito po sa kanyang farm sa Coachella. Kuhol, malunggay, to produce high-grade nitrates. Correct. Which could be diluted uh, five times. Good for rice farming, vegetable farming for the plants, and this would boost organic agriculture in the Philippines. Correct. Exciting po ito. Sundan po natin yung uh, mga discovery ni Rocky Friends. In the meantime, salamat Rocky for this very valuable information. I will share this with the Philippine organic farmers, and I know that this will excite them. Remember this, Ohol Malungay will boost organic farming in the Philippines because this combination will produce a lot of nitrates needed in organic farming.